Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, what can you expect in love, and who you might be dealing with. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. If you find that this doesn't resonate for you at all, then check out the Aries playlist linked in the description box. There's bound to be a reading there that resonates. And let's jump right in for Aries. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Aries. Regarding love. What does Aries need to know, Spirit? Regarding love for Aries. Guidance, what messages do you have for Aries? Regarding love. We have the King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, wow, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, wow, the Tower, bottom of the deck, overall energy, the Queen of Swords, Ari um, I was going to say Aries, but it's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. Behind that, the Moon. Pisces energy. So right away, I'm thinking about clarity, um, clearing up any misunderstandings, any illusions, anything that's not like out in the open. Let me put this over here. There's definitely some something here about an offer of some sort. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups with the King of Swords makes me think of like a heartfelt, sincere apology. Um, and then the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Swords is almost like someone's undecided about making this offer or receiving this offer. Uh, the Chariot with the Tower. So I feel like there's something unexpected here. Some sort of events that are kind of like in motion unexpected events or just events that I think shake things up. It could also be like an unexpected visit. Sometimes I get that with the chariot. We'll clarify all of these to get some insight. Tell me about the energies for, um, I wanted to say Aquarius, for Aries in love. What can you tell us about these energies, spirit? What can you tell us about these energies for Aries? Tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation. What else for Aries? Moving forward, movement ending cycles. Okay, so I feel like someone's moving forward from a stuck situation here. Maybe that's what this chariot and tower energy are about. Pure seduction, temptation, desires. Someone's really driven by how they feel here, by what they want, what they, I feel, are attracted to. It's like someone's following their deepest desires or moving forward because they're attracted to something, an idea, a person. We'll see. Bottom of the deck, we have breathe in. Take time to meditate and relax your mind and body. I'm thinking someone's really thinking about something here, reflecting. Okay, I want to use this clarifier deck. Let's get some insight into what's going on here. I think the truth is very important because the Queen of Swords is the overall energy. Something that someone has to say. She usually gets to the bottom of things. She's very direct, perceptive. She reads between the lines. Um, and also she's like no nonsense. She doesn't play around this Queen of Swords. Um, Aries, you could be dealing with an air sign or um, a Cancer. It does not have to be. Those are just the signs that happen to show up so far. So let's see what this Queen of Swords is all about. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Two of Wands. Path being chosen. There's the Four of Swords, and wow, the Tower again. We got the Tower twice. What's at the bottom of the deck now? I'm curious. 
the star Aquarius energy I think this decision okay when I see the Queen of Swords with the tower I think of a reveal right something the truth coming to light a truth that is like shattering um, but I think this is more about a decision that someone's making out of the blue with the four of swords they, they were thinking about it, but when they made that, this it's almost like they were probably thinking about this decision in secret. They were probably not telling anybody that they were feeling this way or thinking about this. So when they finally make the decision, it's like huh, gasps all around. Like nobody, you know, someone's like shocked that someone's choosing this. The star and then the two of cups behind that. So the star is Aquarius energy, um, hope, fe uh, healing, faith renewal again this idea of like a desire a wish i feel like someone is drawn to making this decision based on what they truly want or desire and i think it's a soulmate or another person that they already have in mind let's see let's get down here and clarify these energies tell me about the knight of cups and the king of swords for aries spirit what do we need to know about the knight of cups and the king of swords Wow, the King of Swords again. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and the King of Swords. What do we need to know? The Hangman. Hmm. Can I get one more for this Knight of Cups and King of Swords? Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Okay. And what's here? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Well, when I saw the hangman, there's the five of swords, yeah. When I saw the hangman, I thought someone's seeing something differently. Like an, they're getting like an aha moment here. Some sort of like clarity with the king of swords and the hangman about a situation. Because the hangman is someone that's, they're just thinking. But they're also looking at things differently. So while they're thinking, reflecting, they're seeing things differently. And I think that this is some sort of truth that someone is kind of like understanding now. Um... The Wheel of Fortune, I'm getting um, with the Knight of Cups. Maybe someone wants to express how they feel or express an apology to turn things around uh, because the Five of Swords is here at the bottom of the deck. So conflict maybe in the past between you and this person or conflict now that someone's wanting to like overcome with this wheel. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the ten of okay? Four of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and there's the Queen of Swords again. Are you able to see these? Okay. Now I'm thinking about that stuck energy. So someone's not happy right now. I feel like whoever is thinking about this decision. And the fact that they're, you know, they're making this decision causes a tower. Um, I think it's moving, like making a move of some sort. We're going to have to clarify it in a second. But I think whoever's thinking about this move, this change, this decision is not happy right now. That's why they're making this decision. Um, I think this person cannot no longer deny something or can no longer lie to themselves about something. Yeah, there's the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is about a departure, a move, leaving something behind. And with the Queen of Swords, it's like, it doesn't matter how I get it done. I just have to get it done. I have to follow my truth, speak my truth. Yeah, Five of Cups. Someone's not happy. That's why they're leaving something behind, because they're not happy about something. But at the same time, Seven of Pentacles is like there's doubts here. So right away, I'm thinking there's two very different things that this ton of pentacles can represent. This can represent a commitment that someone's already in because I have the tied up energy here. Maybe they're stuck in a situation with a family or a commitment, or maybe they are stuck under like this pressure, familial pressure. So for example, parents that want them to go and do a certain, like certain things, <clears throat> parents that want them to stay in the home or something like that. The other thing I see is that someone's seeing this Ten of Pentacles <clears throat> as like an opportunity. 
a goal, a desire, right, for the future. Long-term stability, long-term security. But there's doubts about it because they need to do something first. Six of swords, eight of wands, make a move first. Maybe they even need to speak up first, you know, and it's all going to be, you know, this goal is only achieved if they are honest with someone else or honest with themselves. Tell me about the two of swords and the ace of pentacles. Let's let's actually ask for these separate. Tell me about the two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? The high priestess. So I feel like someone's undecided because they don't have all of the answers about something. Maybe they're hiding their true feelings, guarding their true feelings here. Tell me about the two of swords. Yeah, eight of swords. Someone's holding back here. There's the moon, bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. Something that's not said or not out with the open, not clear. It's like whoever's making this decision doesn't have all of the facts. Or maybe they feel restricted from making a decision or going after this opportunity. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Ah. Ten of Wands, Six of Wands, and Nine of Cups. So this is what they want. There's the Chariot. But they would have to deal with a burden, an obstacle. There's an obstacle in the way for someone to have this Ace of Pentacles. Four of Wands after that. Again, someone, there's a situation going on where they're at, where they live. But for others of you, this could be that someone needs to resolve a problem right now. This Ten of Wands needs to be handled before they have the Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, before they have their success. Tell me about the Tower. Why is the Tower here, Spirit? What's this Tower about? Okay, I got two. Six of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Wow. I feel like this tower is the only way that they can get something. There's the Empress at the bottom of the deck. The only way they can have the Ten of Cups is this tower. Interesting. We have four tens on the board right now. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups. Tens are about completion. Something's coming to an end. This tower is going to help someone. I also feel like this tower is like the only way out. Can I get one more for this tower? Tell me about this tower. Yeah, the Six of Swords. This tower is a departure. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Ah. Okay, this is way too many. But I'm going to take them. Ah, what a pain. Three of cups. Six of cups. Justice. Libra energy. Knight of swords. My goodness. Do I even have room here? Seven of cups. And then death. Scorpio energy. Justice, Six of Pentacles, this is meant to happen. It's what's right. It's what's what should be done. Death, endings. You know, there's a big ending here. It's like a major ending. I'm getting that for some of you also, there's an announcement involved. Like you see an announcement somewhere, maybe on social media. And that announcement is almost like your sign or, you know, it's, it's a very public thing.
Seven of Cups is all about choices, options. Death, endings, justice, Six of Cups, Three of Cups. Someone could be leaving a third party. But I'm also getting the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups, I think, coming together with a soulmate, reunion with a soulmate. I think this is going to be like really shocking and it's almost like when someone finds out whatever this is, you know, whether this is news of someone leaving a situation or a post that you see or a message that you receive, because it could be any of those things, something that you actually see being posted somewhere else or something that you receive yourself, you're going to have questions. It's almost like there's going to be people that are going to be like, huh? Why is that happening? I never saw that happening. Let's look at this person a little bit closer. Tell me about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. Tell me about this person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? I feel like this tower is like an escape for someone. Like this tower happens and it's the only way they were able to get out of something. Let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. Tell me more about this other person. Okay. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Swords. Wow, we have the Six of Cups again. Six of Cups and the Hangman. Again, the Hangman. Eight of Wands, bottom of the deck. So the Hangman and the Eight of Wands together, opposite energies, you know. The Hangman is stationary. They don't make moves. They just think, reflect, see things differently. They gain understanding. But the Eight of Wands is about movement, action, communication, things happening very quickly. Um, let me get some clarity here. I'm going to use a whole different clarifying deck. Tell me about this King of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Three of Wands, okay. Tell me about the Hangman. Tell me about the Hangman Spirit. Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Knight of Cups and the Three of Pen of Cups. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, Three of Swords. And then the Lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. There's soulmate energy here. Six of Cups, the Lovers. Three of Swords, Knight of Cups. I think of someone apologizing for the hurt that they have caused, hoping for a reunion of some sort. It could also be that someone's apologizing for the third party situation. Six of Cups, Three of Wands. I feel like someone has been looking back at the past. And this King of Wands wants their Queen of Wands. Um, and this Ace of Pentacles with their Queen of Wands. But I feel like it's not so simple. I feel like this person is prevented at this time from taking action. Right? The Hangman and the Eight of, of Wands. So it's like they're hoping to take action or thinking about taking action, they just haven't been able to yet. Even though the desire is there. I feel like this person is very attracted to you, Aries. There's an attraction there. Um, but it's not just physical. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. What do I need to know? This person that Aries is. False person and sudden wealth. Well, sudden wealth is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune. 
false person. I think this, yeah. It's like that high priestess energy with the two of swords. I think this person, and also over here, this four of swords with the tower where I think this, this person has hid their true intentions. So if they are planning this escape, which I think they are, if they are planning this tower, which I think they are, or if this tower happens, you know, I see it in, in a few ways. Let's say this person wanted this tower to happen. Well, when it does finally happen, everybody's shocked because nobody saw it coming from this person. If let's say this tower happened and it was not something this person specifically wanted, they're using that as their excuse to get out, which is also shocking for someone. Because this person has hidden deep down what they truly want. Ah. Hold on, let's do that again. Can I get some more insight into this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? I want to feel that way again. Yeah, this person isn't happy. That's why they're thinking about something else. I think they're thinking about the past. When I think of, I want to feel that way again, it's that you felt that way before. You just don't feel that way now. So you're looking back at a time where you felt a certain way. Bottom of the deck, I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah, this is someone that I feel Aries This unexpected shakeup that is bound to happen with this tower, I think it's going to allow a, someone from your past to come forward. And I think this person, for some reason, they're not supposed to be looking at the past like this and looking back towards the past and wanting the past. They should be wanting the present they have. The current energies that they have right now should be enough for this person, but it's not. And it's like they're hoping for a miracle, a break. They're hoping for something in their circumstances to change, like a magical turn of events that allows them to really be free. Because make no mistake, this person is driven to be free of whatever situation they're in right now. They're planning their escape, but it's like no one expects them to be doing that or the fact that they even want to escape is shocking, right? That's what I'm getting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Those two ways are ways that you can support what I do here for free and it really does help out a lot. Um, and I appreciate anyone that takes the time out of their day to do that. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.